watching. I'm here today to share with you some of the new fabrics that we have in store. And today I have some really gorgeous tinsel jerseys to show you. Now to be fair, these are not new fabrics for this month. Um, they're actually our release from last month, but it, it turned out to be a really busy month because we had the website rebuilt, which was really, really good, but it took a lot longer than expected. Um, and I got very behind with things. And then on top of that, I decided to redo the studio, which again took a really, really long time, a lot longer than expected. And it's still not quite done. I'm uh, sitting on the floor of the studio at the moment in the little colorful corner, which is really, really nice. But um, yeah, it's not quite done yet. It still needs a bit of greenery, I think. We still need a bit of bit more storage space. But we do have a lot of room for new fabrics, which is really exciting. So we can really increase our range now, which is what I wanted. Um, but yeah, just started to feel like one of those projects that's never quite going to end. So I got really behind on my YouTube filming, which I apologise for. But I'm here now, and I have these really gorgeous tensil ponties. No, tensil jerseys to show with you, rather. Um, and these are all from Meat Milk. So we stocked these, we've stocked these ever since we opened and they're always really popular each year. And we go for Meat Milk fabrics because uh, of the high quality of tensil in them. Um, and I have spoken quite a bit about tensil and there's a blog post up on our website if you wanted to have a look. But basically we really like tensil firstly because it's really good for the environment. So it's extracted from sustainable wood sources and then that extraction process occurs using a closed loop system so there are no solvents released back into the environment, which is really, really good. And the other reason that we really like it is because of the properties it gives the fabric. So it makes it really drapey, it makes it really breathable. Um, long lasting and durable so it just makes for a really really good fabric so we do try and go for fabrics that contain tinsel where we can so it's really great to have some jerseys that do that as well um, so we as I said before we've had these fabrics ever since we started but each year we're slowly increasing the colors that we stock which is really exciting because when we started out we could only afford a few colors um, and then I think last year we added one or two colors and then this year I think we've added three so yeah really exciting for me um, and it also means our range is getting bigger which is really nice too so the first color that I'm going to show you is a new one this is the puff color and it's a really soft pink it's almost sorry I'm this is the first time I'm filming it on the camera instead of on my phone so normally I have a little screen where I can see myself and I do have a screen now, but it's I'm upside down. Um, it's really throwing me off. So hopefully I don't get to the end of this video and you can't see me at all. Um, hopefully I'm on there somewhere. <laughs> so this is the Puff Tensil Jersey. It's a really soft, dusky pink almost. It's not. It's definitely not a bright, in-your-face baby pink. It's a sort of almost a rose. Um, it's a little bit musky. Yeah, just a really gentle, grown-up pink. Sorry, I'm watching myself on the screen backwards. I think that I think you can see the fabric there, and you can watch it drape. And you can see the really nice drape in this fabric that comes from the tensil. So it means that it just flows really nicely over your body. Unlike a lot of jerseys fabrics, it's not going to cling to you. Um, if you just like lay it over a curve, it's just going to sit really, really nicely. You can see that one there. So that is it in puff. The next one we have is, again, another new one, really exciting, and this is a typical Jessica Joyful colour because it's lilac, and if you've ever seen us at any of our market days, this is the exact colour of our aprons, and this is the colour that our um, of the tissue paper that our orders come wrapped in, so it's a really, really fun one to have in store. This is mauve, and as you can see, it's just that beautiful lilac colour. It's a really nice drape. So this fabric is really good for jersey dresses if you want something with a bit of swish and you don't want to feel too tight. So it works really well for um, like the A-line swishy dresses. I think, I'm trying to remember. I think it's the ebony shirt dress by Deer and Doe. That's a really nice A-line stretchy dress. Looks great in the tensile jersey. Um, it's also really good for any tops that are kind of loose fitting and flowy. There we go. That's that one. Another one, this is another new colour. I think we actually have more new colours this year than I realised, um, which is really exciting. This is the Purple Night Jersey. Ooh, there we go. A really beautiful purple. If you watch the coronation, this colour is the exact colour of the dress that um, Princess Mary wore. She wore this really gorgeous purple um, coat dress kind of thing with a waterfall front, I think. Yeah, and it was just really beautiful and it's exactly in this shade. So it's a royal purple. It's definitely not a Teletubby purple, it's a grown-up purple, <laughs> and it's really, really lovely. I think I've earmarked this from, from Mandy Boat Tea for myself, just because it's not often that you get a really, really good purple. It's just lovely. 
So that is the Purple Knight. The next one we have is one that we had last year but we sold out of really quickly which was great. This is the Berry. And it's coming up a bit red on the screen. I'm not sure if that's the lighting in the studio or not. Well, it said it's coming up a bit red. Coming up a bit redder than it is in real life. It's a bit softer than it looks on that little screen there. Um, it's it's almost a cherryish red, kind of gentle, not too much in your face and really lovely. I used some of this to make a Nomi dress by Sew Over It, which is a tiered maxi dress and that's a really great pattern if you want to try a jersey dress. Um, it's got two layers of skirt I think and this fabric is really good because it's got really good return as you can see if I stretch it. Hopefully that comes up. Again I'm looking at myself upside down while I do this so I have no idea if it's working or not. <laughs> So you're not going to get any of those white lines that you sometimes get with a cheap jersey when it stretches. So it's really good for um, things that, like dresses that have a bit of weight. So anything with a tiered skirt or a heavy skirt in a jersey will work really well in this one. It probably isn't the sort of fabric that you want to put things like a zip in. Um, if you wanted to, like the Emma dress by Sew Over It, you'd have to really interface the bit where the zip is just to give it some strength. Because it is quite drapey and quite lightweight as well. So that is that one. Another one, this is a new colour again, and there are more than I realised. So this one is the pecan jersey, and it's a really sort of golden caramelly colour, just really nice. And I can really see this one as a top with like some red corduroy, I think it would be really nice for this one, or with overalls, I think it would be really, really good in this fabric. So yeah, it's just a perfect kind of autumny colour. We had the their Ponty Insider last year, which was really popular. And then this is very much very similar to the Cider, it's just a little bit darker. I think that's seeing it there. Okay. So the other really good thing about this fabric is that it's very breathable. So if you want to layer up in winter, this is a really nice fabric to use for your base layer because you're not going to overheat, um, but you will be kept nice and warm. So lots of long sleeve tops this one is really perfect for. So that is Pecan. The next one we have is the classic blueberry or the classic navy. Okay. Ooh, so weird looking at yourself upside down on this. There we go, I'm there. Um, yeah, so just a classic navy, it's really beautiful. I used some of this to make a brattle top, which I've shared on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so that is, in case you haven't seen it, that is the new pattern by Cashmere Etch from April. It shows you how behind I am in filming because I still think April was recent. Um, it's just a simple t-shirt pattern but with this really gorgeous twist at the bottom and this fabric is perfect for it because it sort of because it drapes into that twist it doesn't look too bulky around the waist um, just a really elegant top so that's what I use this fabric for and it's a really really nice navy. Okay. Lucky last of the ones that I have pre-cut to show you uh, there are two more but I'm gonna have to get them off the shelf. This is, this is my favourite one of the colours. This is their, and I've forgotten what it's called. It's cherry. <laughs> How bad is that? This is the tensile jersey in cherry. And it's a really, it's a really interesting colour because it really changes depending on what light you're in. So on the screen now it's kind of purple, but if I'm, it's a little bit more pinker if I go over there. So it's a pinky purpley kind of colour. It's a real jewel tone and it's really gorgeous. I use some of this to make a, a Mandy Boat Tea by Tasuti Patterns and it just is perfect for that. Um, it's like a bright pop of colour to add a bit of colour into the winter day but just sort of sits over your drapery. Drapery? That's a new word. Um, and under a jacket it's perfect for this time of year. So, yeah, so this is my favourite colour of the range. It's really, really beautiful. And you can see there the drape, it's really good for gathers and things like that. Um, yeah, I love this fabric for winter. So we do have two more. We have the lapis, which is way over there. So I will um, pop a link to that one in the comments below if you want to have a look at that one. That's just a really nice bright blue. And then the last one I have, which I forgot to cut for today, is this one. So that is the pond colour. And it's a really gorgeous, emeraldy, tealy kind of colour. Again it's another one that sort of changes depending on what light you're in. Um, it can be quite green, it can be quite blue, it really is gorgeous. But yeah, just a really nice drapey fabric. So that is the range. I hope I didn't go through that too fast. Um, I also hope that when I watch this back you can actually see some of the fabrics on the screen. And that I actually hope it's not filming me upside down, that would be interesting. 
Um, we shall see, you'll we'll see what you're watching. Um, so that is our new range. Apologies for the video being a bit late, but they're really, really beautiful fabrics. If you'd like to have, order a sample of anyone, please let me know. I'm very happy to send out a sample. Um, I'll be back fairly soon with our tensil ponties, which have arrived already, and I'll be showing you them. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching.